All right. Hey, how y'all doing? So today we're going to learn how to get the reactive armor catalyst as a craftable item. The subspace field modulator that you see on a lot of high-end builds. Craftable deuterium surplus. I'll show you how to get that unlocked. Emit unstable warp bubble, which has become more and more popular these days. The Triadium Lace Weaponry Set, mainly for that fire cycle haste and flight speed. So we'll get these two out the way, because you get them along the way. Just go to your available tabs when you get specters, and accept it. Just transwarp over. And as soon as you get there, Spectres will complete some experience points and some expertise. But it's going to open up other things. What you want is this mission skirmish. And you're right above it. Do skirmish. And when you're finished... You don't have to read all these logs. Just go straight to the last one, which is science log. Click through. Boom. Mission complete. Oh, let me show the mission item. It's the subspace field modulator. All right. Then you're going to go to Trellius. It's in your available tab by this time. Once you get to Trellius, well, I'm going to show you how to do this correctly. Just this first little part. If you don't get it right, sometimes the unlock does not unlock for you. For the Turium tanks. You got four options. Choose the second from the bottom. Then you choose the bottom. Choose the top one. Then there's only one left. Boom, you're done. Now you just do the mission at this point. When you're done, depart system. So you get dilithium, specialization and experience points for that. And look for our Hina system. On your map. Sometimes it's circled. Sometimes it's not. When you get there. Pick up the stress call. But you have to close it out. To be able to answer the stress call. So just close it out real quick. It's a little space fight. And when you're done. You're going to see a deuterium tank. Collect it, and you can collect one deuterium tank for each one of these supply depots that you protected. So you get four for free off the bat. And from there, just the part system. There you just depart system. Now if you did everything right, under engineering, you can craft deuterium surplus. Now from beyond the nexus, that's where the triadium set sits. And you see it's fire cycle haste and flight speed. That's why it's on a lot of phaser builds. Actually, the set is so good, I know people that use it that don't even use phasers. Complete the mission, collect the piece. So you have to repeat it a couple of times to get all the pieces. The last one 
is two and one. So it's from Broken Circle. Now, if you're not there yet, it's all right, just skip and inhale Broken Circle. You see the emit warp bubble there. And one of the choices is Reactive Armor Catalyst. So just go ahead and select that mission and transwarp over. There's a little trick to this though. All right, once you've completed the mission, make sure you select that box of Reactive Armor Catalyst. Warp Bubble comes with it just for doing the mission. But when you go into your R&D, you're not going to see the Reactive Armor Catalyst. That's because you got to go into your inventory and pop open the boxes. Now, if you give it a second, there's the Reactive Armor Catalyst. So you can now craft as much as you want of it. All right and it has a slight uh like side effect for certain disciplines like tag engineering and science basically it gives you those hit points off the bat right so next one is not under here these are omega particles but on the office of training there's a mid warp bubble and you can craft it and train any officer Alright, if it's your first time here, drop me a sub, leave me a like, tell your friends about me. Peace out, y'all.